Hi hey everybody. Uh, another beautiful day in Michigan, if you want to call it that. But came out to the garage because got a lot of spare time. So I'm gonna start the how-to on the Hachigane. It's gonna be a real basic, real simple explanation. Um, it's not that difficult. So we'll get started by just going over the basics of what you're going to need. A lot of this stuff you won't see in this video, but you'll see in the other. Uh, first, you're going to need uh, a plate. Uh, what I use, I use 14 gauge steel. Um, I know at Home Depot and Lowe's you can find 16 gauge, which works just as well. Uh, it's only a little bit thinner, only I think by like 20 thou or something like that maybe. But 16 gauge works just as well. So you don't have to find 14 because 14 is really hard to find. But you're going to need a plate. Uh, I use, uh, it's an inch and three quarter by six and a half. So that's what I have mine cut at. I have all the edges rounded off and smooth. So that's that part. Uh, next, you're gonna need ball peen hammer. Don't know if I spelled that right or not. Probably not, because it looks wrong. But I'm a horrible speller. Ball peen hammer. You're gonna need a drill, a 1 8 drill to put all the holes in the plate, which are just the holes that go here on the sides. Um, I put those holes, let me draw this up for you. It's all a preference of what you like. I really don't have any dimensions of how I actually do it. Make sure you guys can see this. Let's see, there you go. Um, usually I put two holes in the center. Uh, these are a half inch apart. And a, a quarter of an inch in. I usually put two there and then I stick some more over here. Like that. I just kind of measure out even distance. I put two here. These are still, everything's a quarter inch in from the edges. Uh, this space, I think I put a five eighths space between those holes. Because on the corners of this, quarter inch. You're actually going to cut that out and then round off these corners. Uh, I don't have a lot of the tools here to do a lot of this stuff, so like I said, this is going to be a real basic introduction. Uh, the holes are not hard to figure out. They're not hard to drill, but you need an eighth inch hole because that's about the size of the needle. Uh, if you can find a, a drill, that's around 100 thou that's better an eighth inch is actually 120 whoops 125 thou so if you can find a drill close to that 100 100 is better 125 will work because i think the the needle is like 092 something like that it's not a huge difference but that's just the drill that i use so that's your, pretty much your layout. You can drill the holes first if you want. I don't, just because I don't like doing that. It is easier to measure these out and drill them while it's flat, but I have a way of doing it when it's curved. But I'm just gonna give you a basic rundown of how to form these plates. Make sure you got a good view of this. I'll make sure the light isn't horrible and my garage. Now this is just a stump. You can use a 4x4, 2x4, whatever, as long as it's sturdy. And right here is actually divoted. 
there's a divot right there that I just kind of spent a couple minutes just making a nice, you know, big dent in there. And that's where I'm going to pound at, right in there. So what you do, I start at one edge, and then just slowly go top to bottom, like this. You can already see it's starting to curve. Uh, as I'm doing this, I'll do a little section at a time, check it. If it doesn't seem like it's straight, pound it out a little bit. and you just keep curving it. So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit, do some more work on it. You guys can see how I'm doing this. Um, I am hitting this with a decent amount of force because this is a smaller ball peen hammer. If you have a larger one, you might not have to hit it as hard. You can see I'm just, just about halfway there. It's already curved over a decent amount. Uh, you can always straighten it. If you curve it too much, you can always set it on something hard. And give it some taps. To straighten it back out. But that's pretty much the basics of it. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of work to form the headpiece. So uh, once you do, once you learn this, uh, like I said, the, if you get the 16 gauge, it'll be a lot even easier to form this. But once you learn this, you know, you can take this skill with forming these metal pieces and do a whole variety of stuff. Uh, I had a bunch of these Hachiganis made a while back. I was making them, I think I had like six of them. And I actually realized that you can overlap them. And if you had the holes drilled, you overlap them and you connect the pieces together. And it actually fit really well on my shoulder. It could have been, you know, a nice you know, shoulder piece for a piece of armor. But that's the basics of the how to form the plate. So it's very easy. Ball peen hammer and a block of wood. You don't need a stump. Uh, besides this, I use a a piece of 4x4 four four with held in a vise. That's what I normally use. But that's the basics of forming it. I'm pretty sure any, anyone can kind of get the idea of what's going on. Um, besides that, you're going to need a leather cord, which I get that at Michael's. I think you get 3 meters or 3 yards for like three or four bucks and you can actually do I think two headbands with that a uh, file or grinder just to knock off any burrs or clean clean anything up the foam that I put inside of the cloth you can also get that at Michaels in the craft section I think it's like uh, eighth inch foam uh, cloth you know any fabric store 
And the needle is actually, you can get that at Michael's too. Comes in a package of like five or six needles. Check their leather area, I think they have a package there. It's a real thick, big needle. So you'll see the rest of that stuff in the other videos that I'm gonna make. It has to do with attaching the headband on, finishing up the metal piece, and all the rest of the fun stuff. And uh, this piece right here that I'm making is actually gonna be a three-sectional piece, so next time you see this in the next video, it'll actually be a three-sectional piece. So that's pretty much uh, the, the basics. Just a ball-peen hammer and some sheet metal. Doesn't take a lot of skill to, to, to do this. Surprisingly very easy. So anyone that wants to make their own design or make a, a three-sectional piece, you know, you can, after you form it, you can cut it up and have, you know, seven sections. You can have thin pieces on top, thick on bottom, having the sections go this way instead of up and down. There's an endless variety of things you can do. Um, as for heat treating this, you can if you want. Uh, I do sometimes, depending on what the customer wants. So, it's pretty much about it. Pretty easy. So, Home Depot and Michaels, you can pretty much get everything you need. And if you know how to sew, you can do everything yourself. So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish up working on this and then finish the, another videos and get them all out to you guys.